Hello everyone and welcome back to the studio. This video is about skin tones. Now, biggest thing to know about skin tones is there's no specific formula, all right? Even from the tubes that you buy in the stores. Skin tone of each person changes depending on the lighting and their environment every single time. In this video, we're gonna cover four different cultures. First will be Middle East. Second will be Africa. Third is European, and fourth is Asian. An important point to note about these skin tones is they're not really all that different. You can make them up with yellow, red, blue, sienna, and white. Really, that's all you ever need. So let's get started. So I've changed over to my palette so we get the uh, working view of it all. Our first skin tone will be for Middle Eastern. We'll use this photo to compare. And my go-to starter mixture is always on the dark side. And here we have a little bit of ochre, yellow ochre. I'll throw some cad red, some ultramarine blue, and some burnt sienna. In to start off the mix. And I don't start off any known flesh tone, just straight into this. And from there I can make decisions. Okay, I'm going to cool this off. And the temperature of the shadow and the light will all depend on the temperature of the light, correct? So if you have uh, warm light, you'll have cooler shadows. If you have cool light, you have warmer shadows. So I'll throw a little bit of base blue, ultramarine blue in here. All right, we'll start with this base. So of course, we'll need to add white to it. And if you watch my other video, you'll know that anytime you add white, you always have to adjust it again. So this time we're going to throw in a little bit of red just to get some warmth back, as we do have blood underneath our skin. Bring back over our reference. And put this here on the cheek. And you can see immediately, I'll bring it up, right, the value is off. So I added too much white. So I can just go in and adjust it with either my previous mixture or throwing in some burnt sienna or something like that. So I'm going to try it one more time. Adjusting the value. And it's close. And I think it just needs to cool off a little bit. So we're, we're not thinking about making it bluer or yellower, greener, oranger. Okay, I'm thinking about making it cooler. Yeah, we'll put that on as a sample and bring it out and I'd say we're pretty close for that section all right this time we're gonna work African skin from here I probably start with the sienna because the skin pigmentation is a little bit darker throw in some ultramarine blue or any blue could be cobalt blue throw in some red because we got blood and it's warm and you can see what a nice rich color that is. And let's bring the subject in. Here we are. And we'll use this mixture, let's say, on the cheek here. Let's have a look. It's very close. I would say the temperature is a bit warm and maybe possibly a tad dark. So we'll throw in a bit of white, and if you just add a little bit of white, you may not have to adjust the chromaticity of the of it. I think we're a bit a bit warm, so I'll throw in a bit of ultra. And really, I think that's I think we have it. So you can really see how easy it is to make skin tones, right? Bring our subject back in, apply a little mixture. The one on the right on her cheek is the mixture I just mixed, and I think that's a better match. All right, now let's go to something a little bit brighter like uh, her cheek here. All right, so we'll put this original mixture up here. You can use a bit of it and just add a lot of white. As we're going over value first, remember value, value, value. It doesn't matter what color the skin is at that point. You got to stick with the value first. All right, mix that up there. Get the value, put it on here. Oops. 
Just had a little glitch there that I messed up. Put the value on. You know what? That value is really close. Put it in a different spot so you can see it. A little bit better. That value is really, really close. And so I would probably paint with that. I, I really like that. All right next on the docket, European. What's really interesting about the European is the highlight on the African could possibly even be right that nose color right there. It's a little bit cooler. Anyways. So we'll take this and we'll maybe warm it up a bit. That might have been too much, but we'll see. That'll adjust the value a little bit, but when we put it back on that area of that nose, you know, it matches value bang on. And the temperature isn't bad either. So you can see, we can take the highlight of an African skin, put it on a kind of a mid-tone on the nose of a European skin. So you can see, skin tones aren't really that much different when you're just thinking value and temperature solely. Next we'll move into the Asian culture, and you can see from this photo we can pretty much use already the same tones from various, might be a bit dark, from the various cultures we've had already. So really we're all primarily the same. Maybe we'll take this value over here, apply it in here. See it's a bit light, so we could easily adjust that if you want to take that premix that you've had before. Darken it up slightly so you can see that there is a difference between these two, right? Original, darker. Clean this up here, put this up top, and we'll try this on our skin now. And you can see from that swatch, the temperature, I mean, the value is pretty much bang on. Temperature-wise, I think we could go and cool it a little bit, but for the sake of the painting, I'd be putting this in and using it direct. So you can see, with any culture that you're painting, whether it be Middle Eastern, European, Asian, or African, really, all you need to do is work with your yellow, red, blues, and a, maybe a burnt sienna. Getting the value first is 100% what you need to do if it's dark or if it's light. And then needing to adjust it if it's warmer in, e in either case. Or, for example, maybe you need to make it cooler. In which case you can add a blue or a green. Right? So, here we have the neutral, warmer, cooler. In this, in this instance, for the lips, even warmer still. Each one is relatively warmer to the next or cooler to the next. This original neutral color is actually quite uh, a lot more cool than this mixture, and this mixture is a lot more cool than this mixture. Conversely, this mixture is a lot harder than this mixture, this mixture is a lot hotter than this mix mixture, all right? And this mixture is a lot hotter than this mixture if we go to the straight to the cool side. So to summarize again, really stick with your value first. Value is key, decide on your value. Then adjust your temperature using reds, blue, reds and yellows or blues and greens, and you will have no trouble matching skin tones. It's not the color. It's the value and the temperature. I hope this helps some of you out there when you're mixing your skin tones. If it does, please share and like the video. Every bit of help counts. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.